Welcome back to my channel. Uh, sorry I haven't posted anything in a while. I've been so busy. February has been a super busy month for me. So finally back in action, ready to show you some new cool wine stuff. So today I want to show you some of the wines that I currently have in my wine collection. I have a decent amount of wines. They're overflowing in my kitchen, but over the last year I've gotten some really cool wines. And so I figured I would show you some of them and give you some suggestions on wines that you can try at home. Let's start with bubbles because why not? So um, Torricella makes this Prosecco. It's super amazing. I've had their Prosecco before and it's just really, really nice. So quick little information for you. The difference between Prosecco, Cava, and Champagne is where they're made. There are some other differences that go along with it, but those are the main, like, that's how you can tell the difference. Cava's from Spain, Champagne's from France, and Prosecco's from Italy. So fun fact that you can now impress all of your friends with. So that was really good. Next, let's do, sorry, this one's a little dusty. This is Thumb War from Wink, which is formerly known as Club W. This also has a really cool label. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of Club W or Wink before, but they always have the coolest labels on all of their bottles. You know, they really take the time to make a wine label cool. And I know most of you do the same thing I do. When you go to the store, you buy wine based on the label. Yeah, cool labels, Wink, I'll link down below. Also a good wine. Another wine with a really cool label is Hashtag wine. It's like one of the coolest labels that I've gotten to try. This is a South African Syrah. It's really nice. Uh, I like to let this one breathe a little bit just so that it can open up. This bottle sells for like eight or nine dollars a bottle. It's super cheap. It's got the screw cap. People don't be scared of the screw cap. One of my friends was looking at me when I unscrewed a bottle of wine and he's like, ew, screw top? Like I thought you were supposed to be some like wine lover and I was like screw tops are not something to be embarrassed of they're practical they're saving corks and they're it's honestly a better option so it's absolutely beautiful out right now it's about almost 70 degrees and it is February so now I'm in this like let's drink rosé all the time it's summer I'm ready to drink rosé but in reality it's only February but I've already started stocking up on my rosés so this one is from Withers uh, I think it goes for about $16 to $18. It's really not that expensive. Rosés are usually within that price range. I would say from $10 to $25 depending on what you're getting. Rosé does not take a long time to make. It's a quick maceration of red grapes and it doesn't have to be bottled very long at all. So that's why it's easier to make it and that's why it doesn't cost a lot. So you should not be paying a lot of money for a rosé. So this one is right in the good price range. It has a really beautiful, um, you know, salmon color to it, and I can't wait to try this one. Another rosé that I just recently got is this beautiful baby in this frosted bottle. I'm so excited to try this one. Rosés from France are some of the best rosés because that's where they originated from. So these ones are always really, really good. Um, this one is a blend of three different grapes and. It looks pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited to try this one as well. One of my favorite red blends that they have, this label is so cool. It's modeled after Juliet's Wall in Verona, Italy. So it's just like a love wine. It's just like, oh, I love you so much. Um, it's really inexpensive. I would say probably like $15 a bottle and it tastes so good. Uh, they also make a Prosecco and a white blend that is also a Passamento brand with the Romeo and Juliet label. So definitely pick these up. So this wine, appropriately named Rainstorm Wines, this is a Pinot Noir that they make and it's so fantastic. The label is also super fun. It's got a little, a little like holographicness to it. It's just a really cool, cool wine. This one is a 2013. You can pick these up at any store. I think they're readily available at, all, all over the United States. So I was also sent this amazing package of like 12 or 13 Bulgarian wines. I wrote a whole post about them and because I was like, where is Bulgaria? Like I had to look at a map and after my geography lesson, I realized that they really do make a lot of amazing wines. Definitely a area that you should check out if you're looking to explore different types of wine or different regions that you're not aware of. I know we've all tried a California wine and a wine from France and Italy, uh, but you know, give a wine from Bulgaria a shot. Eastern Europe has a lot of great wine regions, so definitely, 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 definitely check them out. This is um, Aries, and this is a 
a dry red wine from the Thracian Valley. So I apologize if I'm saying that wrong, but I'm really excited to try this. These are two more Pinot Noirs that are also from Oregon. Um, this one is the Domaine Druhin, um, and this one is Rose Rock by the same company. Um, they're from Oregon. They're a 2014, which is a really great year for Pinot Noir grapes. I've wanted to drink these so bad, but everybody I've talked to has told me to let them sit and get even happier in the bottle, and they're only going to improve as time goes on. So I'm patiently waiting. It's a process. I have to wait, but hopefully within the next five years a special occasion comes up that I can pop one open. But these are really great wine, really great Pinot Noir. I'll also link them down below. Uh, so I do have one white wine to share with you. I don't have a ton of white wines in my collection right now because I've been drinking them all for, for some reason I've just been in a white wine mood, I don't know. But this one that I do have left is a Bulgarian white wine called Le Photograph. I'm probably saying that with the wrong accent, but we'll go with it. Uh, it's really cool, the label says, the whole point of taking pictures is so that you don't have to explain things in words. So this is um, another one that I'm really excited to try. Um, so that's it, thanks so much guys. Remember if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And other than that, I hope you have a fantastic day and go drink some wine. Bye guys!